presentation will be structured is I'm going to talk about three sort of principles that we use to tackle uh, these different problems and, and, our, and our, the philosophy behind our approach. And then I'll talk about three of the core missions that, that we had, uh, which are, you know, in the case of a political campaign, the business objective. So the communications, organizing, and, and fundraising. Uh, but before we get into it, I want to show a short video that I think captures um, the essence of the campaign. Uh, and, and the result of what we were trying to do. It's a, a video we made in collaboration with our supporters uh, across the country, uh, and I think captures uh, uh, the essence of what happened. So. This election is going to be about changing parties. It's going to be about living for every other American. That's what gives me hope. I don't want a nation just for me. I want a nation for everybody. and not feel hope and not feel that glimmer of light again. I don't think I was ever this interested in, in uh, the voting process. It's the first time I've ever felt I'm compelled to be part of a movement such as this. I want to just get back involved in this process. The grassroots level first and then let it go. That's what would make me happy. Ourselves. The campaign helps us, they're there to help us, but we're organizing ourselves. There's the relationship that we have with one another, that is our strength. I think for a long time I had given up that, that we could work together to make change in this country. I've been involved in politics, I've seen politicians, uh, but this is different. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no ordinary time, this is no ordinary election, and this may be our last chance to reclaim the America we love. We are one people, we are one nation, and together we will begin the next great chapter in the American story. watched that video probably a couple hundred times, but I still get a little hair on the back of my neck standing up. Um, because it captures something that's really, really true about the way we ran the campaign. And you can see that in what's missing, which is Barack Obama. He's not in, he's not in the video. I mean, you hear him for a couple seconds at the end, but this, this thing that captured the essence of what we were trying to do uh, in a really honest way was about our supporters and their relationship to the campaign and their relationships with each other. Um, but. What was also important about this video was not uh, just that we were able to touch people emotionally with something really honest and something true, but that we were able to tactically deploy it and uh, content like it to further our actual core business objectives. So uh, to get into that a little bit, a couple of the, couple of the numbers that, uh, that we produced, 13 million supporters uh, signed up and gave us their email address and their zip code at least. The vast majority gave us much more information than that. Um, but 13 million people signed up and said, I'm interested, I'm in interested a little bit more than I'm just going to go vote for you. I'm interested in getting communications from the campaign, seeing what I can do locally, understanding what the campaign is that's going on around me and where I live. Uh, that represents about one out of every five people who voted for us on election day, so as a, as a percentage. Um, those 13 million people organized themselves into 45,000 grassroots volunteer groups. And what do I mean by that? A grassroots volunteer group was a, uh, an actual group organized on our website, but 
had an offline reality. So uh, women in Cleveland for Obama, you know, DuPont Circle for Obama, people were able to come to our website and either create as a leader or uh, find near them by searching by subject matter or zip code uh, groups that, uh, the, that, they, that they could plug into and be, and be relevant. Each group had its own listserv, um, had events associated with it, uh, and uh, and was really the, the sort of core person-to-person uh, -person contact uh, among our supporters. Uh, millions of phone calls and millions of doors knocked, both in the traditional sense of driving people to our uh, campaign offices where a lot of those things were organized out of, but also in creating opportunities for, those, for people to do those things without us uh, being physically present. So uh, we provided tools where people could download a list of the targeted uh, voters' doors in their neighborhood or the targeted uh, phone numbers that were relevant to them, either because they live near folks or uh, because they're a veteran or a woman or spoke Spanish. So if you wanted to make phone calls uh, but couldn't make it into one of our offices, but um, you, did, you were able to say, oh, I'm a, I'm a military veteran or I speak Spanish, we were able to provide you a list so that you know, if you had a half an hour to give us at home or uh, a couple hours on a weekend to have some people over and do it with you, you could make calls to target people who uh, had a similar story as you uh, and with whom you were more likely to make a high value contact for us. Uh, all these folks also planned over 200,000 offline events that we know about. Uh, so we've also provided as part of this public utility infrastructure for our supporters, uh, a tool to help them take the online energy and the connections they can make with other supporters there and take it offline. Uh, the core of that was an events planning tool, sort of like Evite, uh, where you could organize your event, put all the details up, and track all the RSVPs and talk to folks. Uh, our staff were only involved with uh, very, you know, in the small number of thousands of these uh, in, any, in any real way. The vast majority were organized by supporters, not sort of randomly, but with particular missions in mind. So there were categories of these events. We're gonna go uh, leafleting in this targeted neighborhood. We're gonna go knock on doors using the data that we provided in the door knocking tool. Uh, we're going to go do visibility at some uh, parade in the neighborhood, things like that. Uh, folks also, uh, while they're doing all this organizing, were incredibly hungry consumers of content. Um, and so videos like the one that you saw that was one of more than 2,000 videos we produced over the course of the campaign. It's unprecedented you know, level of content generated. Uh, and if you take all the time that people spent watching those 2,000 videos that we created on the campaign, not all the Obama videos on YouTube or whatever, but just the ones that we created, it adds up to 1.2 billion minutes of time that pe people spent watching. All told, that adds up to about 2,000 hours of one person. Uh, 2,000 years, I should say, uh, if one person sat 